Hi YouTube! First of all it's going to be really embarrassing if somebody comes to the door because the door's like there. So today I thought I'd talk you through all the presents that I've bought for everyone for Christmas this year. I have actually wrapped a few that are by the tree down there. That was before I decided to do a video. So now I'm doing a video and I thought I'd dress up with my Christmas jumper and everything. I'm sorry for the lack of content on my channel recently. Uh, I don't know why. I went to Germany last weekend and since then I've just like been really busy. And then I fell and hurt my hand so I hadn't had a chance to wrap any presents or anything. And now it's feeling a little bit better. So I'm going to go through all my presents and then I'm going to hopefully wrap them. So first of all I'm going to start off with the presents that I've bought my friends, my female friends, my girlfriends or whatever. I got these from Peacock or Peacocks in like the accessories department and they're just little, little stocking fillers. So this is a flashing reindeer nose. I don't know if they all work. I haven't had a chance to test them out but hopefully they do. I also got them some chattering teeth. I'll video that on the floor and you might be able to see. These are from two trips. No, this is from one trip actually. I got them each some socks in a cupcake thing. I think these have been out for ages but they're all different colours and stuff. The ones that I've got my friends. I've got three friends that I've bought for. And so I got them. Oh, these have got like little reindeers on them. Uh, they're from Dorothy Perkins and also at Dorothy Perkins I got them each some jewellery. Oh wait, yeah that goes in there so maybe I'm meant to wrap that like that. I'm hoping nobody comes home because I've got a present that's not in any bags or boxes in my dad's. That's my dad's. I then went to H&M and got myself a Christmas jumper which is upstairs in the wash. Oh, in the wash upstairs even. I got each of my friends one of these. I'm not sure what they smell like but the bottle looked nice and there were also a bottle with like a broken bow so I decided to get that one for me. All these are just stocking fillers really, they're not the main presents. I then went on another, sh another shopping spree, that was on Black Friday that one. I went to White Rose Shopping Centre in Leeds. Um, I got one of my friends this is a main present. I wasn't really sure what to get anyone really and it was really last minute so I've got this. I think these are very vintage kind of things. <laughs> I don't, I never really played with them but I thought I'd get one anyway. And I also got another stocking filler, a lip smacker thing. Just a little something, I don't know. It looked pretty. And and then I also got two clutch handbags which I'm not going to unwrap because the gift wrapped them for me so I'm not hoping it then. So that was all I got for my friends. Uh, right. I'm going to go through all my boyfriend's presents. Actually, I'll show you what I've got my boyfriend from the Disney store. Now my boyfriend is a big Star Wars fan so... I picked out all the stuff I could this Christmas for Star Wars because he's got loads of stock. Stock? He's got loads of Star Wars memorabilia. So, first of all, I've got him a Star Wars pillow. This is not just for him, this is for me as well because whenever I'm at his house, I can never see the TV because his pillows are too low. So, I can lie on this, it's nice and soft. And that's from the Disney store. I then went on another trip to the Disney star and he saw a few things that he liked so I picked them up for him. The first one is this Star Wars, is it Chewbacca? Yeah, it's Chewbacca. I don't know if it makes an eye, that's all we didn't try it. Oh shit, it doesn't work. It does work. Go on. I don't know if you can hear that. But it's also a bobble head and he does drive so he can have that for his car. Oh my god, it's too low for this fire. He also saw this actually. Is this Chewbacca as well? 
I don't know any it names me, I'm sorry. But it's a very soft toy. And it's very cuddly. I don't know his name, but it's very soft. And then I got him some Yoda slippers. He did try them on in shop, so they are not children's sizes. I thought they were, but he did try them on and they're all right. So from there, moving on to the big, massive shopping tree I spent online from buymegift.com. I'm gonna try and go through my boyfriend's presents whilst I'm on the theme. Big box, here we go. Right, I got in a poo in Santa. I'm assuming they're just chocolates that come out of Santa's backside. But I thought that was a, a funny gift. So whether he'll like that or not, I'm not sure. It says lift hat and load candy. So you put the candy in his hat. And then you pull his arm or press down on his arm and he has a poo. I also got my boyfriend a swear box because he does like to swear. It says each find there what he has to pay. He also likes to cut himself at work so I've got him some bandages or plasters or band-aids or bacon anyway. Anyway, the, the bake, they look like bacon. I know men like bacon so I thought I'd give him that because he does like bacon, I know that. He's a picky eater but he likes his bacon. And we also like to play the app of pool together. We don't really play it when we go out but we do like play it together when we're just bored. So I got him a desktop pool table so hopefully we can play that together. I also got him some heart shaped pasta so I'm hoping to cook him that rather than let him open it. And I got him a cure for his grumpiness as well because he likes to be a bit grumpy sometimes. Even though you don't see me on some videos that I've put up with him, he does like his grumpy moments. And this is his main present. Oh, I can't get it out of the box. I'm not getting that out of there. But it's a remote control R2D2 and it blows up and it moves around and you put batteries in. And hopefully he'll absolutely love that because found it and I was like, yes, I need to get him up. Right, moving on, I think. Yes. So my mum's friend, who is also very close to the whole family, likes gardening and she works in an office, so I got her this office kit, desk tidy thing. I just got that for, don't text me because I'm busy. The roof opens up, I think, and then you can put like stuff in the door of the shed like so. So that's just a little present. I completely forgot what everyone's main present was but I've wrapped my mum and dad's main presents anyway. This is for my mum and it's a heart shaped frying pan. I also got my mum actually well, um, a ring for wine bell. I think you can get these on a variety of um, websites that sell unique gifts. Oh, I also went to Lush and bought my mum some karma soap. We did, like, when we had baths all the time in his old house, we have a shower now and that's like our main thing. But when we used to have baths, we always used to use karma soap. And we've lived in this house for nearly 10 years. So I thought I'd bring back memories and buy her some karma soap so she can use it in the shower or whatever she wants. For my dad, the last two presents I'm going to talk about actually. I got him this strobing beer glass. It just sounded like a lot of fun and he does smell when he goes to the toilet so I've got him a cone for when we know that he's been to the toilet which I doubt he'll use but I got him it anyway. So anyway that's all my presents that I've got to show you but anyway yeah that's it thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching bye now i've got to wrap all these presents and i can't be bothered it needs to be done now once it's done i'll be very happy